two women are sitting grieving in a room. The younger one thinks, I need to withdraw the kids from the school now and maybe switch to a full-time job because the idiot did not leave a penny in his bank account. Meanwhile, the elder one is thinking that his father passed away six months ago and he was a professor and he left a house for us. Meanwhile, this idiot, this 41-year-old chartered accountant, died and just left the house like that. Mother-in-law and daughter-in-law, in perfect agreement, when have you ever seen that? Fellow Toastmasters and guests, the idiot in question is Talha bin Hamid. And I'm supposed to introduce myself, but I can't because I've just dropped dead from a heart attack. So let's hear about me from my near and dear ones. My sister is sitting along with my wife and mother. And she is genuinely grieving for me. She is genuinely uh, missing me because she did not get to interact with me that much for the past eight years, having been married off to Peshawar. And the kids, it's a different story. Asfandiyar is trying to recall the last time he had a meaningful conversation with his father. Scoldings, quite a bit. Each one lasting at least five to seven minutes, 30 seconds. And with plenty of rhetoric devices, voice modulation, body language, and of course, killer eye contact. But he is glad about one thing. He knows his father's passwords. He has now access to all his gadgets. So yes. <laughs> the three daughters, Shanze, Pariza, and Xenia, are generally upset. Because it was a daily race amongst them to race up to their father every time he came back from office. And only now they have discovered that each one of them thought that she was the most beloved of her father. But he told this to each and every one of them several times a day. The group of friends in sitting in a neighboring room, and each one of them is feeling like dancing and jumping with joy. Such a weight has been lifted off their shoulders. They never really wanted him as a friend in the first place. It was he who actually adhered to them and sickened them with his tales of woe and depression. But you know what, you have to keep up appearances. So they all were pretending to be very glum and reading the copies of Holy Quran in front of them. Institute of Chartered Accountants of Pakistan. There's a person typing out his resignation and he couldn't be happier about it. Why? Because he was just retained there to answer dozens of queries they received about this idiot called Talha bin Hamid. He felt necessary to apply for each and every job ever since he qualified in 2002. And there were queries each day from Pakistan, from UAE, from UK, from Timbuktu, from Zambia. So they had to retain him solely for this purpose. But he couldn't be happier about leaving this job. Beacon House Public School, Quetta. The elderly, dignified lady has just received the news. And she is recalling that fateful day in 1993 when she saw Talha bin Hamid's chemistry paper, O levels. And it was horror of horrors. She had to erase everything and put in new answers just to retain her dignity and her school's license with the University of Cambridge. <laughs> Thank God they used pencils back then. Head of HR, Alkaram Textile Mills. She is jumping up with joy. Why? Because they had just fired Talha a few days early. Heaven forbid, if he had passed away on the company's payroll, they would have had to pay insurance and compensation. She cannot wait and she rushes to the MD's office to deliver this amazing news and to make his day. The Imam of the Masjid who led the last funeral prayer puts his finger on the cobble. Teet, Aspandiyar emerges. He says to him, Beta, I'm so sorry. Your father made so many commitments to pay his zakat, but he never paid a penny. <laughs> Unfortunately, according to Sharia law, that needs to be added to his liabilities. 
So he goes up and relays the news to his mother, his grandmother, and his papa. They look at each other and shout in unison. What an idiot! <laughs> Toastmaster Imran and Toastmaster Urusa are having a heated argument. Each one wants to throw the party celebrating the passing of overbearing and impossible president. They ask DTM Zayat Kalia for help, who very graciously steps in and said, Don't worry, my children. I will throw the party. <laughs> Everybody is happy except for DTM Samir, who is sifting through the rule books, and yet they have failed to provide him an answer to the question, how to replace a president who suddenly drops dead? Toastmaster.